Baseball's best are preparing for next week's baseball all-star game, but today some much younger all-stars hit the field. More than 300 teenage baseball and softball players from all across the country will try to prove they are the best team around. News 5's Amanda Van Allen tells us about a program bringing all these teens to Cleveland this weekend, teaching them what they're capable of. It's called the MLB Youth Academy, and they have teams all across the country. They not only coach these kids in baseball and softball, but also offer extra help with standardized tests and life skills. Come to California, the Compton Major League Baseball Youth Academy. They were handpicked from places like Harlem, New York, Puerto Rico, Texas, and New Orleans, and flown all the way here to Cleveland not only to play softball and baseball. I plan on winning every game. But also enjoy most of the MLB All-Star festivities. I'm just so happy to be here. You see, there's MLB Youth Academy programs all across the country. The 13 to 17 year olds make up nine baseball and 10 softball teams. From those, they pick out the All-Stars and bring them to the All-Star game. This is Jardy Montgomery's second year being selected. The last year was really fun because we got to see all the big players and the home run derby was really exciting with Bryce Harper winning it. And this year I'm excited to see all the new faces and the superstars where I want to be. I'm very honored because you don't really see a lot of people, I mean, a lot of girls that look like me from Harlem, from back home, like traveling, getting this experience with the help of MOB. That's Darlene De La Cruz. She's a rising senior and a shortstop. She says she's eternally grateful for the program. They expose me to great coaches, great people, and I feel like the network helps me a lot because I make great connections and I'm still friends with people today. We've seen you know kids that come from, from pretty tough places and end up going to college or becoming interns or becoming police officers are becoming major league players. That's what it's about, just creating the opportunity. This is a stepping stone to, to greater things. Very cool, right? Well, we have lots of stuff kicking off here tomorrow. Of course, the MLB Youth Academy, their games start tomorrow. And we also have Play Ball Park that is opening. Everything kicks off there at 10 a.m. And for you late night folks, some of the bars, they are open until 4 a.m. That also kicks off on Friday. At Progressive Field, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.